Not many people know that you can actually connect and integrate two other free platforms with your Google site to turn it into a fully functional e-commerce website. And today I'm excited to share how you can do this so that you can list and sell your products on your Google site website using two free and simple platform integrations. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into Google Sites, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that note out of the way, let's go ahead and turn your Google Site website into an online store. Okay, so here we are in the back end of a Google Sites website. Now, as you can see, this is a Google Sites template that I created for online stores. So if we navigate back up to the top and then locate shopping online and then click on all products, that's going to take us to all products. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, we only have three products that are listed on this website. Now, for those that like the look of this professional online store Google site template, then what I'll do is add a link down below in the description, which will take you to our website where you can purchase this template. So feel free to check out that online store template if you don't have the time to create your own online store. Now, if we navigate up to shop online, you can see we also have individual product pages. If we navigate down here, you can see that this is a product page. However, you can see the product over here. If we click on buy now, that's not going to take us anywhere. What we want to do is integrate one of two free platforms that will allow our website visitors to purchase our products from our Google site. And the first free platform that we're going to use to integrate with our Google site is called Equid. Simply head over to your browser and type in equid.com or feel free to click the link in the description below this video. Then once you've arrived at Equid, simply follow the step-by-step -step process of signing up with your free account. Now it's important to note that Equid offers a completely free plan if you only have up to five products that you want to sell online. If you want to sell more than five products, you will need to upgrade to a paid plan. Okay, so as you can see, I've already signed up and I've arrived inside my Equid dashboard. Once you've arrived here, what we want to do is navigate over to the left-hand side and locate catalog and then click on products. Under products, this is where you want to simply click on add new product, then navigate down here and add your product images, then go ahead and add the name of your product, add the SKU stock keeping unit, if you use SKU, and then add the weight of your product. Down here, you want to add the description of your product, and you also have these formatting options to make your description more compelling and engaging. You also want to navigate up here and add a price, and then if you like, you can also add options. For example, if we navigate back, and then click on leave this page. You can see I have an example product here. If I click here and then navigate over to options, you can see I've added the option name. This is a color for this necklace. The input type is drop down. And then I have these three options down here, rose gold, silver, and gold. I can also change the price if the price value is different per different option. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is navigate back. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added three products. And these are the three products that I want to sell on my Google site website. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this first product. Now, one way I can add this product to my website is I can navigate over to buy now button and then click on embed product and then choose the product layout. This is how the product will appear on my website. As you can see, we have this option here. If I click on button only, only the button will show on my website. Then we have full size two columns. And as you can see, we have the product images as well as the description. And then we have full size three columns. I like the look of full size two columns. Then what we can do is navigate down to appearance and we can further customize the way that this product appears on our website. For example, where the product description displays, if I click here, we have these three options. Then we can select the layout of the thumbnail, vertical, horizontal, or full size image. Let's have a look at full size image. You can see that that creates the full size image down there. I'm going to navigate back and click on horizontal. And down here, we can choose what to include in the sidebar. And again, each online store is going to be slightly different. So take the time to choose what options you want to display on your website. I'm going to navigate down and remove the share buttons. And I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and click on generate code and then click on copy code. And that's going to copy this code snippet. And what we're going to do now is head back to our Google site. Then what I'm going to do is click here and then click on embed, then select embed code and paste the code in here that we just copied from Equid. Then come down and click on next. And that's going to generate this product. I'm going to go ahead and click on insert. And what I want to do is drag this out. So it's a full screen. 
a full page display. I'm also going to drag the bottom down. And then if we navigate up here, you can see that we now have this product embedded on our online store. I'm going to navigate down here and I'm going to delete this section because I no longer need it because I've gone ahead and I've embedded this product from Equid. So let's go ahead and preview what this looks like. Here we are on the product one page. If we navigate down, you can see that we have the product down here. So let's navigate back up. I can click through the different images and I can navigate over to add to bag and then go to checkout. And that's going to take me to the checkout section on this page. And I can navigate through that checkout section to see that it's working correctly. So what we're going to do is exit out of this. And just like that, you've embedded your first product into your online store. Again, you can play around with the embed settings to change the way that this product displays on your pages. Okay, so I'm going to head back to Equid. And here we are back inside this product. I'm going to navigate back and then back again. And what I can do is set up each of these other products that I want to display on my website pages and simply enable embed and then add those products to the specific page that I want to display those products on. Now you also want to navigate down to shipping and pickup and also payment. Payment allows you to essentially enable the payment gateways so that you can be paid. This is using Stripe or PayPal. Then if we navigate down, you can also set up shipping and pickup so that you can add the correct shipping methods for your customers to choose. Now, what we can also do is navigate over to website and then navigate down the page and locate, add your store to one more website and click on pick platform and then navigate up to custom website. Add Equid to your custom website using our widgets. Equid blends in seamlessly into any website. Go ahead and click on learn more and then click on copy code to clipboard. And this will allow us to add your store to any site by simply pasting the Equid integration code into your page. So by copying this, we can add the entire store with all our products into our Google site website. Now, if you want to learn more about customizing your Equid store before embedding it into your Google site, or if you want to dive deeper into all of Equid's features, then what I'll do is add a few tutorials down below in the description, which will help you get the most out of Equid if you decide that Equid is the right solution for your online store. Okay, so I'm going to head back to my Google site. And this time what I'm going to do is navigate up to shop online and then click on all products and then come down and click here and then locate embed again and then click on embed code and then paste in the code that I just copied from Equid and then hit next and then insert. And similar to what I showed you before, what we want to do is expand the side so it takes up the entire page and then down here so that the entire page is responsive and fits. And I'm happy with that. Again, let's navigate up to preview and we can preview what our new online store looks like. If I click on one of these products, that's going to generate a large preview of that product. And then I can navigate over to add to bag and then add more or go to checkout like I showed you before. I'm going to select add more and then go to checkout. And as you can see, that's going to take me to this checkout page. Now this Equid embed is also responsive across devices. If we click on tablet, this is how your product will look like on tablet. Your product and checkout page will look like. And then down here we have mobile. Again, this is how this product will appear on mobile. Okay, so let's exit out of this. And again, you want to play around with your store. Like I mentioned, we have tutorials down below in the description, which will show you how to further customize your online store, your products, so that you can embed those products into your online store and change the way that they display on your Google site. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just want to mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Okay, so now I want to show you the second method and that is by using a free platform called Stripe. And Stripe is more of a payment gateway or payment processing software that also allows you to create a product page to then add to your website. The great thing about Stripe is you can add as many products as you like and you only pay a small fee per transaction. So there's no subscription fee. You don't have to sign up for a paid plan. You just pay a small fee per transaction. Simply head over to stripe.com, then go ahead and click on sign in if you already have a Stripe account. 
or go ahead and click on Start Now. Navigate through the simple step-by-step -step process of creating and setting up your Stripe account. Once you've done that, we'll meet you inside Stripe. And here we are inside our Stripe account. Now, like I mentioned, you want to set up your account properly before diving in and setting up your products. If you're completely new to Stripe, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will help you get started with Stripe. We've also got other helpful Stripe tutorials that you can leverage. I'll add those down below in the description. Okay, so once you've set up your Stripe account, simply navigate over to products, then navigate over to add product. Here we want to add the name of our product, then come down and add the product description, then go ahead and add a product image. Here's the image that I want to use. Then what we want to do is navigate down to price information. Here we want to add the price of our product, then choose the pricing model. Is it reoccurring or one time? We're going to go ahead and click on one time. However, if you want to learn more about setting up reoccurring payments and subscriptions using Stripe, then what I'll do is add that tutorial down below in the description for you to check out. Then down here, we can go ahead and add another price if we like, depending on the nature of our product, if we have variations and options. I'm happy with this product for now, so I'm going to navigate up to save product. Then with this product, what we want to do is create a payment link. Navigate down and click on create payment link. Then here we have a few options for the payment page that we want to set up. Here we can add additional products if we like. So if we've added multiple products, we can add those in here. However, because I just want to add this one product to my product landing page for this particular product on Google Sites, I just want to have one product for this landing page. I can come down and collect customer's address. I can collect billing address only or billing and shipping address. I'm going to select billing and shipping address. Here we need to select the shipping countries. I'm just going to select New Zealand for now. And for the purpose of this tutorial, this example, I'm going to select require customers to provide a phone number. And then we can add custom fields if we like. Then before we create this payment page, what we want to do is navigate over to after payment. Here we have a few options. We can show a confirmation page. And we can choose to replace the default with a custom message. So ideally what you want to do is select here and add a custom message that says thank you and talks about maybe your other products or use this opportunity to add more value to your customer. Again, you can choose to don't show a confirmation page and you can redirect the customer to your website. If you have a thank you page on your website, or maybe you want to send them back to your homepage, you can do that here. However, for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm happy with show the confirmation page and I'm happy with this default confirmation page. You can also preview what your payment page looks like on mobile and on desktop. I'm happy with this. So I'm going to navigate up to create link, then come down and click on copy. And that's going to copy this landing page link. And then what you want to do is make sure that you have the correct payment details set up. If not, navigate over to manage to add your payment methods. And then you can see other information about this payment page. I'm going to navigate back up. And what we want to do is head back to our Google site. Then what I can do is navigate over to shop online and I'm going to select product two. And then what we want to do is navigate down and then add a button or find the button. Click on that button and then click on this pencil icon. And then under link, what we want to do is paste in that link. This is the link for the payment page for that product that we just copied from Stripe. Then go ahead and click on update. Now let's go ahead and preview what this button does if we click on it. Now, if we navigate down the page and then click on buy now, that's going to take the potential customer here where they can add their details and purchase this product. So essentially, rather than embedding your product like with Equid into your online store, you can add a link to a button or to an image that takes the potential customer to a standalone payment page where they can purchase that product. Like I mentioned with Stripe, you can add as many products as you like and add multiple products to one payment page, or you can create individual payment pages for all your different products. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of this. Again, to create a button, all you need to do is click on button, add the name, and then add an internal or external link. This could be a link to another page on your website or to an external link on another website. For example, like this Stripe payment page that we just created. Then all you'll do is click on insert, and then you have the different options to customize this button. Now, if you want to learn more about customizing your Google site website, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out if you want to learn more about getting the most out of Google sites. So again, what I could do is navigate up to my shop online and then click on say product three, and then I can navigate down and I could select any of these images, for example, this image here, and I can click on link. 
and I could add the link of a product using my Stripe payment link. So as you can see, it's as simple as that. To embed a full online store on your website page, or to embed individual products on each of your pages, as well as how to use Stripe to create a standalone payment page that you can then link to your products on your Google site. So as you can see, it's as simple as that to turn your Google site into an e-commerce website so that you can simply list and sell your products online. And by using either Equid or Stripe, you can do this completely for free. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Sites e-commerce tutorial. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.